Hey everyone, hi and welcome, and thanks for joining me. And I do have two sidekicks here with me today, although one's making a break for it. I swear as soon as I start, Cena just wants to leave, so we'll get a quick hi from her. How you doing? Okay, good. So excited, I have a Trunk Club unboxing for you. And yes, it is my second one for January because I kept nothing from my last trunk. Check this box out, oh, they're so heavy. Um, I kept nothing from my last trunk, and when I um, checked out and didn't keep anything, they asked me if I wanted a new stylist, and I said yes, and then they asked me if I wanted a new box right away, and I said sure, a new trunk. So I decided let's go for it. My new stylist name is Emily. She's been very engaged. I, You do get to preview your trunks before they send send them and I am hopeful for this one. So I do think she has a better sense of my style than my last stylist. We shall see as this goes. This is obviously the first trunk that she has curated for me. Uh, we did go, I'm trying to think, um, we had a little bit of interaction before she curated this. I did give her feedback on the items that I took out on my first preview and I gave her some things that I asked her, asked for her to include when she added items before she sent it. I think she did curate 12 items. I took probably half of those out or more. Um, she added a few more items. I think there's 10 in this box. Wyatt's here. Do you want to say hi before you completely fall asleep? <laughs> oh, you're such a sweetheart. You love Trunk Club, huh? Because you get a longer nap usually during these videos. You do get up to 12 items in your trunk, so you do get lots of styles to try on. If you have a Nordstrom card, your styling fee is free. You do get um, some interaction if you want to, so you can send notes directly to your stylist, either through the um, app on your phone or through the browser on your computer. So you can send specific requests if you'd like. I do tend to want to keep it open because I do like to try some things that I might not have chosen for myself, so I do not like to give a ton of direction, although I do like to explain what styles fit best into my lifestyle. Um, what else? Yeah, if you use your Nordstrom card, there is no styling fee. Otherwise, I believe it's $25. So um, this is a monthly subscription. It will kick off automatically, although I do believe you can skip or cancel at any time. And I have a big trunk here. You can't get anything that pretty much Nordstrom sells from jewelry, accessories, handbags, uh, clothing, formal wear, um, all, the whole gamut. Oh, here's the inside of my box. Check this out. Everything does come in. I love this soft looking coat on the top. Isn't that awesome looking? Everything does come in plastic. Uh, and so I will take all of that out. I love the color of this. Look, this pretty mint green. That looks hopeful. You do get, I do have shoes in here. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's two pair. There's one. So let me get everything out of this box and out of the plastic. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm kind of excited about this box, um, this trunk. And there's a couple of things that my other stylist used to do that drove me a little bit crazy. So I would take really expensive items out of my trunk and she would and ask her to like say I would they're too expensive and she would replace them with equally expensive items. That made me crazy. Um, and the styles just did not suit me. And those were a couple of the things that I had mentioned to my new stylist. So she did have some super expensive uh, jeans in my preview, which I took out. I love, don't get me wrong, I love expensive jeans, um, but uh, sometimes I'm, I just don't want them and I don't want multiple pairs. I might let one pair come through so I can try them on, but if there's too many pair or it's not my budget for the month and I'm not looking to spend the money, I will take them out and say, please don't even tempt me with them. So I did take them out of this box. There was, I think there was two pair and I took them both out and asked her to replace the pants with something less expensive. And it does look like she did. And um, I also don't think my other stylist ever looked at my Pinterest board. Um, I think she'd been styling me for almost a year and she um, asked me to resend what my uh, Pinterest link was. And I can already tell that my new stylist has looked at my Pinterest board. All right. So let's start going through these items. They're, they're, they're pretty fun. First up, we're gonna do shoes. 
The first pair is a Steve Madden booty. They're both booties. It's a Steve Madden booty. And this is a re really fun print. What do you guys think of these? These are really fun. Now, I can tell you, I already own this boot, but in a snake print. I don't know if you guys remember, I got them in a Amazon Prime wardrobe. And I did keep them. They were in a snake print. So this is the same boot, but in a much different print. This looks like, what, a cow print? <laughs> kind of fun. Um, I don't mind them. I actually really like the print. I'm just not sure if I need to the exact same booty, but we'll try them on. I think they're fun. Next up is a pair by BP. These are fun as well. So check out all the stud detailing on these. They have the cutouts, the belt, as well as all the grommets. So I think these are, are fun. A little bit more pointy. All right, that's the shoes. Then the clothing. All right, so the first pair, and this is, is a, of jeans, um, are by Cut From The Cloth. I can't remember what I took out, but I took out a pair that was over $200. Pretty sure Cut From The Cloth is not gonna be $200. So these are the Diana Skinny. And these are nice, so no distressing. I did ask, I think, for you know work to weekend type items, so this would, no, there is no distressing, no markings on them, so I would be able to wear these to work, which is nice. This is a great pair of jeans. I love cut from the cloth. So that's the first item. Next is this pretty mint v-neck, because I did specifically say not to send me anything with necklines that were too close to my neck. So this is a v-neck, very soft, cozy sweater by Halogen. I like the color of this. You will, when you get to preview your trunk, you are able to, if there are other colors and patterns available, you do have the option to switch up colors. This color she did pick for me, I did not switch it. Um, I like this color, it's a pretty mint green. But I like this, this is a nice uh, sweater. Next is another sweater. I believe I did switch up this one. I think the color she picked for me was gray, if I'm not mistaken. This is a sweater by BP. And I might have switched this for the pink. So it's another cute v-neck. All right, and then these are a pair of Wit and Wisdom black jeans. These are the Absolution High Rise Ankle Length. So these are nice as well. These would be great for, for work to weekend also. I like a, a Wit and Wisdom. And these are a nice darker wash. Very nice. Next up is a blouse. And uh, I think I also said <laughs> no tab sleeves, I believe. Um, this is by Halogen and this is a black and white blouse. This one just has a button. At the, at the sleeve, it looks like it's at the rest. I think it's a full length. It has a V-neck. I don't know if you guys can hear Zena breathing. <laughs> if you can pick that up, I'm not sure if you'll be able to or not. But she has some deep, uh, sleepy breathing going on. It's funny. All right, and then we have a dress. So she, my stylist did specifically ask me if I thought the neckline on this dress would be too high. I, I honestly wasn't sure. I said I would give it a try because I thought this looked like an interesting dress, but I wasn't sure, so um, we're giving it a try. This dress is from Vince Camuto. And I thought the pattern on this was nice. It's actually a blue background with the black and this pretty light pink pattern. So I liked the pattern. I thought the dress was pretty. It's like a fit and flare. So I thought I would give it a try. It's a nice stretchier fabric. And I decided to see how it works. All right. And then she sent me two coats, which proves that she probably did check my Pinterest page. They're both soft and cozy coats. This first one is a black one from Socialite. 
check this out. Do you see all that? It's a furry little coat. It's a shorter one. I think this is really cute. It has the rounded collar. Just a cute little layer. It's a little bit lighter. It is lined. And I think this is cute. It's very soft. So I'm anxious to see what that looks like on. And this other one is by Free People. I'm expecting this to be expensive, but it looks so soft and cozy. So this is like a teddy bear coat. It's longer. It almost looks like a bathrobe. It's so soft and cozy. Um, has the pockets on the outside. I love the inside lining. By, um, but it is by Free People. I loved it when I saw it in the preview. So I definitely left it in. I remember this, I think this was one of the most expensive things in this box, but I just love this gray color. I'll get it closer so you can see that. It is the very, very soft, warm, cozy material. And I'm interested to see what this one looks like on. And that's all the items. So that's all 10 items. And let's get right to this try on and see how my new stylist did. So I have the first outfit on, which is the Vince Commuto dress. I'm going to be a little bit closer so you guys can see this print, which I think is fun. I like it on the blue background with this light, light pink and the black. So here's what it looks like close up. It has all the, it comes in at the waist, it's form-fitting at the bodice, and then it comes out in these little uh, pleats at the bottom. It does hit right above the knee, but I think it doesn't create so much width at the bottom that it makes me feel a really hippie. And I think it makes for a nice silhouette. It fits nicely. It's not too big under the arms, which I like. And it does have a zipper down the back, which sometimes you get that where the this sticks out, but it's not really doing that either. So overall, I think this is a very nice fitting dress. I like it. Yeah, you guys let me know what you think. I don't know what the price of it is, but I think it is a very cute dress. I'm going to try on... Um, Two of the outfits, how my stylist put them together. She did not have this in a specific outfit. Uh, this piece, the gray coat or the green, the mint green, she did not have in an outfit. The other pieces she did, so I'll try them on. I, do, I think this is a very cute dress. And I just put it on with heels. I think you could wear it now with um, nylons or tights and a long cardigan. And then it would transition well into the spring and summer. All right. Let's get to the next outfit. This next outfit is one that my stylist put together. So it is this pink sweater with the Wit and Wisdom black jeans and the funky Steve Madden booties. So this sweater is... A little bit short so it's only coming right here's the waistband of my jeans It's coming a little bit below that if I do raise my arms it does come a little bit above that it is a bit of a boxier fit to it I do like the color I'm not sure I like the fit that much and it does have a little bit of a dolman sleeve although not very exaggerated uh, I do like the color though. The jeans, I do like how dark they are. They are, however, uh, a bit large on me, so I probably need to size down. <clears throat> so I have a little bit of um, bagging at the knee and then the waist, I have a little bit of extra room, so I would need to size down. But these have some awesome stretch to them, as you can see here. Um, they do have like a lot of stretch. So I definitely could size down. But I like them. They're a nice black jean. They'd be great for work because they're so dark. Um, I think these could be mistaken for a dress pant because of how dark they are. And um, overall, I think they're nice. These booties, because of how high they are, make it a little bit difficult whenever you're trying to wear jeans with them because if they have any room at all, you almost need to like cuff them up above, which makes it difficult or you have like a little bit where it's sticking out on the sides, as you can see with this other leg. So it makes it tough. You almost want a jean that's tight, tight, so it can go inside the parts of the boot that stick up, or you almost have to cuff them. 
and I'm not sure I really like the rolled look. Makes it hard. Because it just is like hitting it. Maybe one cup is better, but it's kind of hitting the top of it. So I'm not sure. Because these have, our, they're not like tight, tight around my ankle, as you can see. I don't know if I could do a front tuck, if that makes this look a little bit different. I'm not sure. All right, let's try on the mint green sweater with this. So here's the mint green halogen sweater. Very, very soft. Love the V-neck. I like the length. You could always wear this with leggings if you wanted to. I put on the BP booties just so you can see what they look like. I still have, I still have to cuff the jeans um, so that they get right above the booty. You can see the little cutouts and the buckle. They zip up the back. I think those are very cute. Very cute little booties. They're a little bit pointy but not too bad. Love this sweater so soft. It's a nice, definitely a nice cozy sweater. I also think it's thin enough that it would easily go under a jacket or probably even a, a looser cardigan. And I think the color is really pretty. I think you could still do a front tuck with this if you wanted to um, and switch up the look. But overall, I like this. This is pretty. All right, I'll try these boots on with the next outfit because that's how my stylist had them paired with the cut from the cloth jeans as well. So we'll check them out again. I'll be right back. All right, I have the last outfit on and I will try both jackets with this outfit. So first up is this blouse, which I like. I think this is a cute blouse. I like the V-neck. It has the um, tighter banded wrist here. No buttons, just a banded wrist. And it is longer in the back, just a little bit here, comes up in the middle. It's a nice black and white print, nothing too dramatic. I don't think it's bad at all. So overall, I like this. I think I could front tuck it or tuck it into the jeans. It would make for a nice look. However, these jeans are not particularly fitting me well. These are the cut from the cloth. Um, I had to cuff them just to get them on with these booties. I don't really like that look. But just to try them on, I had to do it. They're too big in my waist. They are too long. And they're very, very baggy. You can see I have a lot of bagging going on at the knee, bagging at the ankle, just overall bagginess to these. They are, I thought, just the skinny fit. We'll look whenever we wrap up. Um, but I don't know if they're supposed to be quite that baggy. I don't know what the look they're supposed to be. I don't remember it looking quite this baggy um in the on the model because my stylist did give me ideas of how to wear these and I don't remember it looking quite like this so I don't think you're supposed to I'm going to tuck this in to try on the jacket so you guys can see what that looks like also so you guys can see I'll show you another look at these booties which I still think are pretty cute let me know what you guys think the heel is nice it's probably only what one maybe two inches one and a half two inches um, the cutouts are cute. You'd have to be careful what socks you wore. Or just go with a fun sock and let it be seen, which you could do. And here's what this looks like tucked in. All right, so I'm going to try on the black jacket. And this one was by who? Socialite. Right, so this is what the first jacket looks like. It does have pockets. Where's the pockets, Daisy? Here it is. It almost has a little bit of a dolman sleeve, maybe just a little bit of one here. Um, 
it feels like it to me. It's a little bit of a wider sleeve and overall it's not bad. I kind of like it. It's not fitted for sure, so it's a, a looser fit, which is why I'm almost wearing this little bit more of a dolman sleeve here. I have extra room. So it is a bit of a looser, a looser fitting jacket. I get a little bit closer just so you guys can see the jacket. All right, and let's try on the other jacket, which I believe is the last item. This cozy gray one from Free People. Oh, it has elastic around the wrist, which I love. It doesn't let cold air get up in your arm. Check that out, elastic. So cozy. All right, it does have snaps. You can see the snap placard here going down the middle instead of buttons, which I love. As long as I can do it. There you go. The two pockets in the front, this fuzzy, fuzzy collar, which is so nice around your neck and feels warm. You could also, you know, give yourself some extra warmth by tucking that one um, collar in, which I'll do sometimes when the wind's blowing up. Otherwise, you have that nice regular collar look. The two pockets, it is very nice and long. And this doesn't open here, does it? No. This is so cozy. What do you guys think of this? I love cozy. Um, it's so cold here like all the time in, this, in the winter. Once the temperatures drop, it just feels like it's in the 30s or even colder quite a bit until spring truly breaks. So this is a really nice, warm, cozy layer. I like it. I'll get a little bit closer. And I think that's all the items. So let's do a wrap up and talk pricing. All right, so what did you guys think? You think this was better box? I think this was at least more aligned with my style. Um, I think my stylist definitely listened to me and I think she did try to capture things that were more in line with my lifestyle. So you do get a little envelope in your box that has your pricing sheet. It also has a return label to put it back in your trunk that you don't want to keep and send back. It goes back UPS, so you can drop it off at a UPS location or even schedule to be picked up at your home, which is generally what I do. You get little stickers to seal it right back up. So easy. All right, what do you think, Z? So my notes from my stylist said, hey, Laura, hope you're doing well. I had so much fun packing this trunk. Thank you for your feedback on your trunk preview. I replaced some of the items you removed with some great staple pieces for winter. Can't wait to hear how everything turned out. Be sure to check out my outfit recommendations for inspiration. Your stylist, Emily. All right. So I, yeah, I think this was pretty good. Well, not, I'm not sure what I want to keep yet. So let's run through these based on pricing. So first up is the Cozy Shaggy Jacket by Socialite. That was only $69, and that was this one. What did you guys think of this? So this was interesting because it wasn't a fitted jacket. It was definitely a little bit oversized as far as you could wear. I feel like you could wear some looser fitting pieces underneath it. Uh, the arms left room, right? So you could probably wear it over top of sweaters, sweater dresses, things like that. So I'm thinking about this one. The fit was different than what I was expecting. Let me know what you thought. The price point isn't that bad. Next up is the Rookie Boot by Booty by Steve Madden, $131.95. That was these. So I thought these were fun. I thought the print was fun. But I already own a pair in the snake print, so I'm leaning towards no. Mostly because I already own a pair. And because I feel like how high this is going up, it's, it's hard for me to work with. And I'm already, I already own, own a pair. Next up is the Tessa Teddy Coat by Free People. This is the most expensive item in the trunk at $168. ZZ, stop. She's already making noise. She wants me to stop everything and give her treats. I really liked this, of course. I do like coats. I love warm, cozy coats. I feel like I could wrap myself up in a blanket. Like this is like a blanket. I could wrap myself up in this and go to sleep. 
um, Zena. So I really did like this one. Let me know what you thought. It's so, so soft. But a lot. Tell everybody that you can be patient and wait for your treats till the end, please. You can hold. All right, next up is the Marled V-neck Pullover by BP in Pink, $39. What did you think of this one? I did not like this one as much as the green one. I thought it was a little bit short and a little bit boxier. So I'm leaning towards no. The fabric isn't as nice either, it's thinner. So yeah, I'm leaning towards no. Then we have the Halogen V-neck that I did like in this very pretty, they're calling it blue. I, I call this more like a mint, um, but this was 59. I really did like this one. I liked how long it was. I liked how cozy it was. The material is so soft. This one I'm leaning towards possibly keeping. It's going in my maybe pile. Then we had the V-neck blouse by Halogen. That was the black and white. Is it underneath us, CZ? Yep. Oh, it's underneath both of us. That was this one. Did you guys like this? That was a great basic blouse. It would go with a lot. You could wear it with colored denim, colored pants, colored skirts, um, even uh, white pants or white jeans going into spring. This was 69. This was a maybe as well. Then we had the Sa Sadie boot by BP. These are $99.95. Tell me what you thought of these. I'm undecided at the moment. I liked all the details. I'm just wondering how much use I would get out of them. So I'm, I'm thinking about these. So they're just under 100. Then we had the Scuba Crepe Fit and Flare Dress by Vince Camuto. I really did like this dress. I thought it was really pretty. 138. The neckline didn't bother me. So it was just uh, low enough to be comfortable for me. It was pretty, 138. I did like it though. So maybe, but I need your feedback. Then we had the Absolution Skinny Ankle Jeans by Wit & Wisdom. These were only $68, not a bad price, but these were too big, so I would have to size down and determine if I really need another pair of black jeans, but these were a great jean and a good price point. Then we had the Diana Skinny Jean by Cut From The Cloth, 89. Another good price point. I do love Cut From The Cloth jeans. I did not like how these fit. They were super baggy on me. Um, $89. These are the, they're called the Diana Skinny. These did not feel skinny to me at all. They are a size two and I do generally have to size down in a Cut From The Cloth jean, but they seemed extra large to me. Um, I'm not sure what was up with the fit. So I'm leaning towards a no just because it feels like the fit is off on these. That's everything. So what did you guys think of this box? I definitely think it was better than my last one. I definitely think Emily did a great job trying to capture my style. I think there's some possible keepers here, and I need you guys to help me decide what those might be. Of course, you guys know I'm like leaning towards the coat. <laughs> Oh my, so funny. I was like the most expensive items because I did like the dress. And Zena is being bad here. You can hear her. You being bad. Um, yeah, I did really like the dress. I did like the coat. I kind of like the v-neck blouse, the black and white blouse. I think I could get a lot of use out of that. I really like the sweater. I like the men's sweater. So I do, I think my stylist did a great job. I will list all these items down below in case you want to check them on the Nordstrom site or you want to ask for any of them from your stylist. I will put my link to Nord Nordstrom down the trunk club down below in case you want to give this service a try. It is free if you use your Nordstrom credit card. So there is no styling fee. Otherwise, it is $25. <laughs> and Zena is hurrying me along. That's not nice. Please consider hitting that like button. Want to hear your feedback. So please, please, please comment below and let me know what your favorites were. Please hit that subscribe button so and show me some support. I could really use it. If you've already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.